Hello, this is my September TBR featuring Becca's Bookopolis-on and the Magical Reese-on. Okay, so uh, last month for my TBR, I did a TBR game, like just for fun to try it out because I love watching TBR games. So I decided to do one. And then um, Becca announced, from Becca and the Books that she's doing bookopolis on round three. This is the second month-long one. So I'm very excited to participate and um, have all of like the game dynamics already like ready and I just have to print stuff and like fill out a few things for like the community shelf and whatnot. Um, so I'm not going to explain the rules. If you're interested, please check out her video. Um, she goes through all the rules. So I have to decide the number of times I'm going to roll and I have, I think I'm gonna go with four, and that's because I really need two books to like get into this TBR somehow because I'm doing buddy reads, and one of them is The Return of the King, the third part of The Lord of the Rings. I am buddy reading this with Mariana, Mariana Moss Books. And the second one is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, and I am buddy, buddy reading this with Gina at Gina Stainer Books. I'm going to have them both linked below. Um, I'm very excited for both of them. But, like, like, she's a big book. I need these to get into it. I feel like the board in play is more, like, actually, I'm going to get over to the side so that you could kind of, so I could pop the board up. I feel like the board is more catered to fantasy, so this could work pretty easily for me. But... I'm gonna go with four, but then like if I'm feeling good with what's going on, I might go up to five or six. We're just gonna see what happens because if you roll doubles, you add a roll. So um, we're gonna start with four. So uh, the second readathon I'm partaking in is G at Book Roast, who is doing a, her updated version of the Magical Readathon. For this month, I'm not going to go into the details. If you're interested in it, you could watch your you could watch her video. But basically, right now, um, we're doing character creation, and then like the whole going to the magical school part happens in April and August, like how she used to do it. Um, so you have to read two books this month. The prompts seem pretty straightforward. I think I can mix them in with ones I'm going to work in for this readathon for Becca's bookopolisthon. Um, and then the other ones are like character creation ones, and I might fit those in, but you have until April to read prompts for each of those categories. So I'm not stressing, I'm not stressing. Okay, roll one. We have six. One, two, three, four, five, six has humans in it. I got humans. Okay, a book with humans. Okay, so for roll one, we got humans, which is just a book with human characters. And for that, <laughs> we're going with Priory of the Orange Tree. All I really remember about this from what I've seen, it was all over for a while on book two, but there's there are four different regions of like this kingdom and it's sapphic in some way and uh, it's a standalone fantasy, so I'm excited for that. Okay, roll two. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have who? For rule two, we got who? And that means a book that you have not really heard anyone talk about or haven't really heard much hype around. So for that, I picked a nice short one. I am going with What the Chickadee Knows by Margaret Newton. These are poems that are in Ashinabawin and in English. So it has the uh, Ashinabawin on one side and the English on the other side. I think I learned about this from Danny at Thunderbird Woman Reads. Uh, I'm not positive though, and yeah, I'm quite excited to read this, and it's gonna be a quick read to fit in, in the month. Rule three. Five. One, two, three, four, five. 
five, current events. For rule number three, we got current events. So this can be taken in a fiction or nonfiction manner. I'm gonna take it in a nonfiction manner. Um, I don't own physically uh, nonfiction. I prefer to listen to it. So I'm gonna just scroll through Hoopla, um, which if you don't use Hoopla and you use your library and you'd like to get audiobooks or eBooks and your library might have Libby and Overdrive, which is what people mostly know about, but it might also have Hoopla, which is no reservation systems. You just get them immediately and they are, you'll get like a certain number a month. So like five a month that you could just reserve immediately. And they have movies and music and other types of stuff, but they also have books. Let's look at stuff I've favorited. So The Dark Fantastic Race and the Imagination from Harry Potter to the Hunger Games. Uh, I also have Why Indigenous Liter Literature Matters, The Ethnic Cleansing of Palestine, Push Out, The Criminalization of Black Girls in Schools, Medical Apartheid, The Dark History of Medical Experimentation on Black Americans from Colonial Times to Present, The Color of Law, A Forgotten History of How Our Government Segregated America. Um, all of those I could be into right now. Uh, but which one do I want to read? I think I'm gonna go with the ethnic cleansing of Palestine. It says it revits, uh, renowned Israeli historian, um, revisits the formation of the state of Israel. And it says, this is an indispensable book for anyone interested in the current crisis in the Middle East. So I'm gonna read that for my third. And roll four. Three. One, two, three. Ooh, chance. Which one's chance? Oh, okay. Rabbit Island. And then my fourth, I landed on a chance card. And for that, I got Rabbit Island. Uh, you can't really see it. By Elvira Navarro. This is translated from the Spanish. And it is a short story collection. For the chance cards, you're supposed to put like an even in, even amount in of ones you do and don't want to read, um, or like are really interested in reading soon versus not. And this was on my want to read soon list, so I'm happy this one came up. So I'm adding this. I haven't gotten uh, The Return of the King in, but like that sounds exceedingly doable. So we're gonna do another roll or two. We'll see. Okay, roll number five. Another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no! <laughs> okay, feed scroll. So for roll number five, we got feed scroll, which means just like scroll a social media and find a book that someone has read. I am nervous about this because, um, I don't have a lot of books that like in common with the people I read on social media. So I'm, we're going to see how this goes. Oh man, I'm nervous. Okay, let's record this screen. Let's go into Goodreads. I'm if I'm have probably have some shelved that I don't own. I'm probably not going to go for those because I'm really trying to reduce my physical TBR. So let's do this. Uh, let's go to community. Okay. Okay, Hamnet. I don't own that. And I kind of wanted to do something with that. Mmm. Things have gotten worse since we last spoke. Also don't own that, but I'm very curious about it. Looks like Jesse at Bowties and Books gave that five stars. Um... Okay, someone just read Cultish, which I just read. Normal People, which I read. I uh, don't own this one. Hey, Song of Achilles, which I've read. Wild Seed, which I don't own. The Sword of Kaigen, which I don't own, but I also want to read, but not while I'm reading two fantasies in that month. This Earth of Mankind, which I don't own. Oh my god, how long am I going to have to scroll? Uh, Ace, which I DNF. 
The Japanese Lover, which I DNF'd. The Push, which I've read. Oh, goody, goody, goody. We are just scrolling. I am very deep into this. Ooh, okay. She Who Became the Sun, which I also don't own. Color of Law, talked about, also don't own. Beauty is a Wound, I do not own. The Old Drift, I do not own. Mm. Eleanor Oliphant, I've already read. The Eye of the World, I do not own. Thank God. <laughs> okay, what is not yours is not yours. Not what I wanted this month, but I do own it. And I'll finally get to sc stop scrolling. So this is by Helen Oyemi. These are, this is a short story collection. It looks, okay, it looks like they are linked in intertwined stories. So I, I tried this once and I just wasn't into the writing style at the time, but it wasn't like a DNF. It was just like I read the first chapter or like the first page and was like, nope, not right now. So we'll see. I'm not like super excited to read this right now. We'll give this a shot. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like we could do a rule six. Let's do a rule six. Oh, and then I got a double. That's really good. That's good. Okay, so that turned into seven rolls real quick. Okay, okay. And one, two, POC rep. Okay, I can do that. So then um, for POC rep, we're gonna go The Break by Katharina Vermet. She is Metis, set in a community of mixed indigenous and settler descent. The break tells the story of a multi-generational family dealing with the fallout of a shocking crime. Crime. Shocking crime. So I'm excited for this. Uh, Hoopla has it on audio, so I'll probably listen to it via audio. And let's make sure this is my last roll. It is. One, two, three, four. Oh, another chance. I was hoping for a community shelf, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go. Okay, human acts. All right, I can go with that. I can go with that. And then for my sixth roll, or my seventh roll, which was my final roll, I landed on a chance card again, which is interesting. And um, I got pulled human acts, which um, was also one of the ones I wanted to read on that list. So I'm excited for this. I really loved uh, The Vegetarian by this author. I have been wanting to pick this up for actual years, but I have not because I've been nervous because I love The Vegetarian so much that I was just like, what if this doesn't compare? But I'm gonna finally read it. Let's look to see if I completed any of the prompts for the Magical Readathon with these books. Okay, so it looks like you have to do two prompts on the novice path. And the first one I see is read a book with a map. Does this copy of Tolkien not have a map in it of Middle Earth? What? <laughs> oh, library. That is so bizarre. They don't have a map of Middle Earth in this, but that's fine. So, Priory of the Orange Tree has a map. That one's going to count. I'm definitely reading that in September, so we can uh, check that off. And then a book that keeps tempting you, a standalone. Okay, I could do one of those. So, I mean, I've been putting it off, but I think about reading Human Acts all, all the time. Like, it's, it's never been off of my radar for, like, the past year. So we're going to go Human Acts. And then let's see if I can um, start building my character. Background. Um, okay, so I can be urban or a wilding. Read a book largely set in a forest outside, book set in a city or town. I think I'm gonna be urban and I'm gonna use the break for a book set in a city or town. It all takes place in one town. And then for province, a book from an ongoing series like a series that I'm reading ongoing is this, is how I'm perceiving that, or a book that features Fae or Elven characters. Return of the King. I'm going to read this. I'm definitely reading this in September. My Heritage. Okay, 
So for this one, I'm going to add another one to my TBR. Um, I'm going to add like the next book in the Murderbot series. So that's probably going to be Fugitive, Fugitive Telemetry. I'm part of the way through the fifth book right now. And yeah, that'll be science fiction. So I am going to be, if I can maintain this TBR, I am going to be an urban dwarf from Eartheria. Let's see what Eartheria is. Oh, okay, so it is a very green continent that is in a perpetual spring, and we love our nature, so we're kind of like druids. That's kind of what I'm gaining from this. I'm home to many spirits as well. Okay, okay, I'm getting a druid vibe. That's cool. I'm into that. Um, a druid dwarf. Oh, God. Okay, so this is my TBR plus um, the cleansing of Palestine. It's like a lot, but I listen, oh, and uh, the next book in the uh, Murderbot series. Um, I listen to quite a bit on audio, so a lot of these I'm going to listen to on audio. It's not like that bad. I read quite a bit, so it's manageable. We'll see if I do it. I'm not good at sticking to TBRs. The one I'm least likely to read, honestly, is, is this one. So hopefully I can find an audiobook for it to make that more manageable. But that's all I got for this video. I'm very excited to participate in both G and Becca's readathon. Let me know if you're participating in either of these. I'd love to watch your videos. I love watching TBR game videos. So yeah, definitely let me know if you're going to participate. And uh, that's all I got. So until next time, happy reading. Mm -hmm.